Hi, this is Andy from the Rico Magic Forums, um, and this is our latest project. What we're looking at here is the Rico Magic MK802 notebook. So basically, what we've done here is we've connected a MK802 um, to a Motorola Atrix docking station, originally designed for the Motorola Atrix phone, but it actually has a HDMI input, micro USB um, connection, um, a USB hub, pretty pretty substantial capacity battery. Um, very nice LCD screen, uh, good keyboard, and a good track, trackpad as well. So it provides the basic function um, to allow the Ricoh Magic MK802 to be used as a small computer. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to open up the, um, the docking station just to power up the device, um, and it will power up the MK802. Um, you can see it's searching for a HDMI signal there. Um, whilst that boots up, um, we can just sort of talk about the docking station a little bit more. What you have to do with the docking station is a very slight modification um, because as standard it comes with a male HDMI micro and a male USB 3 micro so it doesn't natively connect to anything in the real world apart from uh, the phone that it was designed for. So you have to do some um, messing around with adapters but once you do that it's very straightforward to, um, to get this um, up and running. Um, these docks have kind of been discontinued I think so they are available for very cheap um, on Amazon, eBay, usual sources um, so you can pick one of these up if you're interested in doing the project. We're going to talk a little bit more about it on the forum um, but for now we'll just show you um, this little computer booting up. So we're booting up at the moment we're booting up into Android 4 ice cream sandwich um, which is what the Rico Magic MK802 um, ships with uh, and as you can see there it's booted up fairly quickly um, and we're connected and we're up and running so you can see here the screen the, um, we're not going to get a very good shot of the actual screen quality but it's pretty bright and it's actually not, not that too bad really actually for the, for, the, um, for the type of screen it is and um, considering we're in HDMI output it's pretty good so we're connected up and running here we're connected to the, uh, to the internet so we can you know, do everything you can do on an Android tablet but with the added advantage of it being a little bit more like a computer. <laughs> so um, this is kind of a, a, a test really just showing, um, you know, standard stuff you'd be doing on a sort of day-to-day -day basis, just, you know, looking in, onto the Google Play and um, downloading apps and everything else. So everything you can do on Ice Cream Sandwich, you can do on this um, with the MK802. And it's pretty quick as well. It's pretty smooth. Uh, everything seems to run nicely plays Angry Birds fire. Um, so as, a, as an example of a test, it's, it's pretty good. So there you have it. This is the MK802 miniature notebook. Um, what we're going to do in the next video is show this machine booting into Linux. Um, it will run version, different versions of Linux. We've got a very good um, support base for um, getting Linux properly up and running on this machine, the MK802 in particular. Um, so there's a lot of people working on this right now so join the forums and keep updated thanks very much